Hello, Technical Capstone students, and welcome to this lecture. In this lab, we are going to be working on password cracking. And so I'm actually not going to do any live demos for this class just because we, um, A, in Cyber One, you already learned some password cracking, and uh, B, uh, as you learned in Cyber One, password cracking really isn't that difficult. So um, it's kind of disturbingly so. It's actually pretty easy. So um, the instructions on these, this lab assignment are really clear, so I, you just follow them step by step, and you're going to do just fine. Um, however, this lab takes a little bit of time to go through. There are a lot of different steps, so you know make sure to use the full time allotted to you to complete this uh, this lab. Uh, so the lab starts in your Windows XP system, so uh, particularly within within the hacker account, um, and so we're going to go ahead and we're going to create uh, usernames and passwords. And you know you can actually do this through the GUI, but um, the truth is the command line is so easy, and you're all are command line pros now. So just use this command syntax to create username and password pairs. You know, create all these these passwords here, um, and then you're going to be using a tool called Kane to crack those passwords. Uh, again, the instructions are all really easy. I realize there's a lot here, um, but uh, you know just read it carefully um, and go step by step, and you're not going to have any issues. Um, the next phase, so that's uh, this is step one, part part one of the lab rather. Uh, in part two, you're going to be learning how to dump Windows passwords in clear text, and you're going to be using a really famous cybersecurity tool called Mimikatz um, to do so. And so Mimikatz is a wonderful tool, a uh, great creation story. Um, it's uh, used by penetration testers uh, the world over. Uh, however, it's also you know used in a lot of major attacks now. I, I encourage you to go read up on Mimikatz and its uh, you know creation history. There's a lot of really cool. Cool stuff out there about Mimikatz and its creator. Um, not, you know, really something we're going to dive into here, but definitely worth reading about. Um, you know how this uh, this fantastic cybersecurity tool came into being, um, and some of the some of the stories, uh, some of the background stories about uh, uh, about the creator. Uh, great, great stuff. Um, and uh, then, you know, you're gonna you're gonna use Mimikatz um, to dump some passwords in clear text. Uh, again, really really fun little tool. Just follow the directions, and you're going to be just fine. Um, the uh, uh, in part three, um, you're going to be learning how to hack Linux passwords. So this is like if you had gained access to a Linux system, maybe a server, maybe um, you know a Linux workstation, and you wanted to dump and crack those passwords, you will learn how to do that uh, using Jack the Ripper. Um, and uh, moving on to part four, uh, you'll actually be creating an additional account with root level permissions um, in the system, in, in Linux. And this is a, a common misconception, right? So I actually even count, you know, uh, hit this misconception with some, uh, you know, really experienced Linux systems administrators. So, you know, uh, Linux has a root account. And so a lot of folks think that you can't create another root account. And technically that's true. You can't create like a, you know, there's not another root account. But there are ways to create accounts that have, the same privileges as root, and that's a really common uh, hacker tool. Once you break our technique, rather once you you know break into a Linux system, so you will learn uh, you will learn how to do that. And um, part five uh, will be about enumerating users using Nmap. So you know you can actually Nmap we've used extensively in Cyber One um, and in uh, the technical capstone class. We've mainly used it to discover resources. We've also used it for a little bit of light vulnerability scanning. Um, you'll also learn how to uh, enumerate users with Nmap. Um, which really just come, you know is a fancy way of saying you're you know uh, coming up with learning what users are on the system so you can figure out what passwords to crack, um, and then part six uh, to end the lab is going to be an online dictionary attack. So um, you know online is you know in quotes it's not really online it's all within the safe context of the lab but um, it's uh, you know the same same technique you know you're reaching out over over a network to um, conduct dictionary attacks uh, over the network to crack passwords and so um, that that's it again it is an easy lab in the sense that if you follow the steps you're going to be just fine um, it is however a long lab and there are a lot of steps so this is this is the lab where you really just want to you know make sure you read it carefully make sure you follow every step um, and uh, again, you know, it's not like you're going to break anything if you get it wrong, because it's you know it's all within the context of the range. So um, there's nothing to worry about there. But just you know, take your time, follow the steps, work on it a little bit every day, and you're going to be just fine. So have fun with password cracking, and of course, let me know if you have any questions. This tutorial was prepared by the Center for Cybersecurity and Privacy Protection at Cleveland Marshall College of Law, Cleveland State University.